Okay, I'm going to start off in landscape mode because generally when you think of a clock, you think of a clock being in landscape mode, although you can use this clock in landscape or portrait, as I'll show you. But this is the app Digital Nightstand, so I'm going to open that up for you. And you'll see right away when you open it up, you get a nice uh, LED clock. Uh, this is the main dock of the clock, which has various settings you can mess with. Um, and you can leave the clock like this. Um, the background here, the gray background, there's several patterns you can choose from on that, which is kind of cool. Um, and it's subtle, so you might choose to uh, leave your clock just like this. It'd be the same as having a sort of a gray or silver, silvery clock sitting on your nightstand. Um, but you can get rid of that, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, notice here you have a brightness setting. So you, right from within the app, you can adjust the brightness of it right within the app which is awesome and you can see what I love about it is it looks like a real digital clock the way it has the the shadows of the numbers or uh, LEDs that aren't lit up but you, you can kind of still see them subtly more the more bright it gets it really is just like a, a regular digital clock um, you also have the Z's which is the snooze function not the snooze function isn't the right word for it, the sleep function. Basically, that's what you hit if you, uh, when you're going to bed if you don't want the dock to be there, if you just want the clock to be there. So if you hit that, now I have it set for uh, uh, basically wallpaper mode is what I'm going to call it, so that when I, am, when I hit that and it goes to sleep, it knows that I am... Uh, uh, that I'm leaving it that way all night and so it'll stay where it is for about a minute and then it'll fade out and then fade back in somewhere else on the screen so it doesn't stay in the same spot on my screen all night long. Um, that's really just to guard against screen burn which would probably only be an issue if you use this every single night uh, for a very 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 long time uh, but it's a clock and if you like it you may do that so that may be a good enough reason to put it into that mode so that it does move around the screen now when it's in this mode if you want to get it out of this mode so there you go it fades and then it comes back somewhere else if you want to get out of this mode you just tap the screen and when you tap the screen it comes back to center mode now you will notice that I don't know if everybody's phone is like this but when I turn it on my uh, little keys over here stay lit to get rid of that, I simply press my power key and press it back on. Those keys won't come back on unless I touch them or something to activate them. So that's how I get them to stay off during the night. Um, it also has a uh, really cool, you see the little, looks like a lamp. That's because if you need to go to the bathroom during the night or you wake up and you need a light for some reason, you can hit that and it'll turn your screen white, which uh, when your entire screen is white, works really well as a flashlight. And there it goes into portrait mode. Um, so that's really kind of cool. Uh, you can vary over here, if you slide up or down, you vary the tilt of the clock. So you can make it tilt 
various angles if you want to do that. I like mine just normal and flat. And then over here on this side, that's how you resize it. You can have it kind of small. You can have it really, really big. So whatever size you want it to be, you can adjust the sides. Uh, and that size, and that's what I love about this, this clock. It's so customizable. Some of the other ones I found, uh, actually I only found maybe two others that uh, were comparable to this as far as the look. Um, and neither of those had all the great built-in options that this one has. Because uh, what's great about the look on this one, I have it set to go into sleep mode automatically. Um, what's great about the look of this one is that it... Uh, uh, it looks like a real LED clock and you'll see in a minute you have other choices of looks you can you can have some of the clocks that are out there look you know for lack of a better word just look kinda cheesy um, so let's go into uh, first well first let me show you this is the alarm button uh, that's depending on your phone and my phone it works if I hit that my phone is locked if my phone was Unlocked, and when I hit that, it takes me into my alarms so that I can set my alarms. And then when I return, it goes back to the clock. So that doesn't work. Uh, they don't guarantee that that will work with every single phone, but that's okay because you may be able to see a faint little outline of boxes here. I think there are six. That's because you can add your own custom shortcut to your own apps there. So if this button doesn't work for your alarm, it's not really a big deal because you can add a shortcut right here uh, to your alarm app. No biggie. Uh, likewise, if you rather use an, your LED flashlight app you have rather than use the lamp mode, which makes this white, you can just add your LED flashlight uh, app here and then you can just touch that and it'll take you right into your LED flashlight. Um, there's also a button here. This is to mute your notifications. If you click that, notifications muted. So that automatically mutes your notifications. You don't have to go into your settings to change that. When you go to bed at night, uh, you just uh, hit that and your notifications are muted. If you're like me, you don't want to get notified every time you get a random email during the middle of the night. And let's go into the, this is the home button. That'll just take you to your home screen. You can go to your home screen. Let's turn up the brightness here, and then let me take you into the settings so I can show you all the cool settings. Got the this right here, a little clock button, allows you to choose what kind of clock you want. Um, let's start with plain small. Now the difference between small and large isn't size necessarily because you saw once you're in the clock you can adjust the size. But what it changes is whether or not it shows seconds. Obviously if it shows seconds then there is a uh, more information on the screen which means you can't make it quite as big and that's why they call it small uh, so that's with seconds and you can have it with seconds or you can have it as I have it which is without seconds there's also another cool one here called retro and what this does it's the same exact LED numbers but then it has the little digital circuitry uh, up at the top which uh, looks pretty cool and you can have large or again small with the seconds Let's, uh, I'm going to pick that one just so I can show you what that looks like. Make that large and see, you can see the little circuitry, uh, which in, if you were to look inside an LED clock, you would have circuitry that gives those pulses that makes that section of the clock light up. And so this is just showing that. You can see how it changes on the seconds as the seconds are changing. So let's go back into that. Let me show you the other styles they have. There's the retro with the seconds, the retro without the seconds, standard with the seconds, standard without the seconds. You also have, oops, did not mean to select that. Um, they also have interlaced. Interlaced is, uh, let me hit it so you can see what it really looks like. It's still LED, but it's just a different style of LED. Um, it's still a cool cool style. I like the regular LED better, but that's not a bad one either. You know what they say, there's no bad choices, they're just different. This is compact. Let's look at this one, and you'll see what that looks like. 
And so you can, you know, it's kind of cool. Puts an emphasis on the minutes. Because a lot of times you know what the hour is. You just want to know what the minutes are. Um, go back in here. And points. That's kind of obvious. It's like instead of using strip, strip LEDs, it uses like little round dots. Okay, I'll hit it so you can see it because I know. Somebody then say, but you didn't show it to me, and I wanted to see what it looks like. So there you go. There's points. Go back in here, and I think that's it. Yeah, those those are it. Let me get back to the clock of my choice. Plain large. That's my clock. All right. Now let's uh, look at the other settings. Colors. You can pick your own color. And uh, what I love about this is uh, there's and the other clocks that I found, especially ones where you could pick your own color, they did not look like real LEDs at all. Um, the only ones that looked like real LEDs had set colors. Like they maybe had five choices, which is probably enough. But what I love about this is you can pick your own color. And whatever color you pick, it does a good job of making it look like an LED. I mean, look at that. That looks like a standard green LED clock that you would buy at the store. Uh, just the effect of it is is brilliant, the way they chose the effect and the way they implement it into the clock. And it's orange. Whatever color you choose, it looks really cool. It looks like a regular LED clock. And there's a blue. All right, so let's take a look at the other settings. So you can change clock style to a million different styles. You can change the color any color you want. And this is where you change the way the top and the bottom looks. There's carbon fiber, there's steel. I don't know how well these show, show up on the video because they're so dark. But Suffice it to say, you have different choices. Probably not the most important part of your clock, but still cool. I'm going to switch to carbon fiber. Still cool that uh, the developer took the time to pay attention to the little things, to the detail. And things like that are really, to me, what uh, take an app from being a, a decent app or a good app to being an excellent app. And now let's go into the big settings. You can set it to launch automatically when you connect it to USB. So if you're going to use it at, uh, uh, at work, for example, and you tend to charge your phone at work on USB, you could check that, and when you plug it in, it would automatically ring up the alarm clock. Um, show system alarm. This is where you use that alarm button to show your system alarm, and it notes not available on all devices. Uh, enable tilt control, and that's the, uh, uh, the control on the left that allows you to go up and down and change the tilt. Whoa, we're going out of focus here. Come on now, focus in, focus in. There we go. Allows you to go change the tilt up and down. Um, auto rotation, you can select that. I have that selected because I usually have my phone, uh, because of where my charger cable goes on my phone, I usually have it in landscape, but probably the opposite way that you would normally think to do it. Uh, when I'm sleeping. Minimum brightness, so you can set when you are adjusting the brightness what you want the minimum brightness to be. Sleep mode delay. This is the amount of time that will pass when you, uh, when you start sleep mode, how long will pass before it actually goes into sleep mode. Auto dim on sleep. If you set that, then you don't have to adjust the brightness manually. When you hit the sleep button, it'll automatically adjust to the uh, minimum brightness setting that you have set for it. And move clock, this is what makes that clock very positioned when sleeping. Now if there is one thing that is uh, currently wrong, you might want to say with this clock, or one thing that uh, I hope will get fixed, is when you put it in that sleep mode so that the clock moves around the screen, occasionally it moves off the screen, not completely, but the, the bottom half of the numbers will be off the screen here, or the top quarter of the numbers will be off the screen here. 
Uh, nine times out of ten, even when that's the case, you can still read the clock, but you have to think about it for a second to read it. Um, and especially if you wake up in the middle of the night and you just want to know what time it is, you don't really want to think. You just want to look at the time. So, also, I don't know if that would happen with devices with larger screens. Um, I have a slightly older phone with the smaller screen, um, and it may be that the reason that happens is because uh, the clock is optimized for devices with slightly larger screens, since uh, these days most of the screens are larger. Um, but anyway, that is a little bit, I mean, you see it just moved and it's still fine. It only happens maybe one out of every 10 moves, and even then, like I said, you can still figure out the time. But ideally, it would move around the screen, but never move any part of the clock off the screen. So that's the only, like I said, tiny little bug. Um, all the other stuff definitely makes up for that. Um, I mean, if you look here at the seconds, the way the seconds flash even is brilliant to me. Because I've seen uh, clocks with the seconds like really flash, you know, like boom, boom, boom. And just like that, it was, it's very annoying. You don't want your clock, you know, dots flashing like that, like something cra crazy is going on. And here, they made it so that it's a very subtle, just subtly flashes, subtly, uh, uh, colon, subtly come, come up and fade out, which is, is brilliant. So in my opinion, this is definitely the best clock on the market. If you... Uh, look around the market, you look at some of the other clocks, I guarantee you you're going to test this one out and uh, realize it is the best, best alarm clock there is. The one thing I did forget to show you was that it works in portrait as well. Not that that's a big deal, but it may be. Um, but you can see, when you put it in portrait, you can still make it so big that it goes off the screen. You wouldn't want that, but you can have it in uh, portrait just like that. So especially if you have a, a dock or something where your phone sets up like that and you want to have the time on it, still works. Um, sleep mode still works as well, as you can see, just like it does in landscape. So again, that is Digital Nightstand uh, LED desk clock. Um, remember, it is not an alarm clock. It is strictly the coolest, uh, most... Uh, uh, customizable uh, desktop or nightstand clock for your phone that there is. So whether you're using a phone or a tablet, I would highly recommend it. It's uh, really a beautiful clock, best looking one on the market, uh, most customizable, most options, uh, even down to being able to add your own custom shortcuts to the bottom of the clock. So go check it out and don't forget this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com uh, and doing your Android app reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please, if you like uh, the reviews I'm doing. Also, you can click the, the like button and you can also visit my website, which is www.HollywoodFrodo.com. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll be back with more reviews soon.